Hello and welcome to the channel. Incredibly excited to speak to you today about the Beast Board Aurora, a board that I feel is recession proof because of the value that I think consumers get who purchase this board. I want to start off by discussing some of the main specs and then we'll transition into the ride field. This board features a 12S 3P battery configuration and the board has 260 watt hours, which is pretty solid. It features two 1000 watt hour motors as well as the most up-to-date Hobbywing Smart ESC, which allows riders to turn on the board by simply turning on the remote, which is amazing. And finally, this board features some very unique wheels that are very similar to what we see with the Cloud Wheel Donuts, which are 105 millimeter wheels by 65 millimeters, which are very soft and comfortable, which makes for a good ride. Now, let's talk about the ride feel. When you talk about Beast Board and the boards that they've produced and provided to consumers, one of the things that many individuals in the Eastgate community talk about is the value that Beast Board provides. I've had an opportunity to review nearly all of Beast Board's boards, starting with the Viper to the Apache and now this board. And one of the things that you're going to find is very consistent amongst people who have this board is the amount of value that is provided. This board has a top speed of nearly 30 miles per hour and it is very achievable. If you look in the footage, there were many times when my friend Hayes, who was riding the board, was just leaving me behind. And some of that has to deal with the fact that I'm a little bit heavier than him, but a lot of it has to deal with the fact that this board, even though it is in its price point, has a good amount of torque and acceleration. In many ways, it almost feels like you're riding a belt drive board. It's not lacking with that acceleration or torque whatsoever. One of the other things that I found was pretty interesting about this board was the range. And we did ride this board on multiple days and riding it in group rides, riding it aggressively and the battery was doing relatively well and really what I expected for a board within this particular price point and then also the amount of watt hours that the board actually has. One of the things that I really enjoy about this board is the fact that it comes with these very cushy wheels, very large wheels, so to speak. And I like this because many other brands are putting these on their boards but they are an add-on, which means that consumers have to pay additional funds to get these type of wheels. So it is amazing to me that Beast Board is providing these type of wheels at this particular price point. And I've mentioned this before, I am such a fan of these type of wheels for a couple of different reasons. One of which, this is a hub motor board, so having these type of wheels really helps to alleviate the shocks and the vibrations that you normally experience when you're riding a hub driven board with very thin polyurethane. So that's one thing. The second thing that I really enjoy with these type of wheels is that it increases your safety margin. When you talk about this deck, it's one layer of bamboo and seven layers of Canadian maple. And to be honest about it, this board is gonna be on the stiffer side. However, these wheels really help to eat up those cracks and those vibrations, and it doesn't really cause a lot of foot fatigue. As I mentioned earlier, this board features the newest Hobby Wing ESC, which allows for a couple of things. One of which is the fact that you can turn the board on by simply turning on the remote. The other thing that this new Hobby Wing ESC allows riders to do is choose from four speed mode. So the ride experience is a little bit more customizable, which I really enjoy. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of this board, but I wanna take a second to go ahead and discuss the nitpick section, which are things that I think consumers should consider when deciding on a board. But before we do so, I wanna remind my subscribers that my son and I recently published a children's book about our journey of getting into Eastgate. You can learn more by using the links in the description. Now, as it relates to the nitpick section of this board, I really don't have very many negative things to say whatsoever. However, there are a couple of things I wanna point out. One of which is, when you look at this board, it's not gonna be the most attractive looking board. And of course, when you're trying to provide consumers values, there's gonna be things that they have to accommodate or skip out on. So that's just one thing I wanna kind of point out, but that doesn't really take away from how solid the build looks. Even though it may not be the sexiest looking board, there's nothing on this board that scares me from a perspective of safety or anything like that. The second thing that I think consumers probably wanna know about is the fact that this deck does not have a lot of concave it also doesn't flare out on the edges. And personally, I'm a little bit used to riding boards that have a little bit of concave or they flare out on the edges. Now, that is a personal preference type thing. And that's gonna take me into my final thoughts. As I've alluded to throughout this review, for the most part, I'm very impressed with this board. The fact that I can get a board that does 30 miles an hour at this price point is insane. The fact that this board is coming with the new Hobbywing Smart ESC 
which allows me to just turn on the board with the remote is amazing. The fact that we're getting these wheels standard is another thing that I really enjoy. And then finally, the battery setup that we're getting, a 12S3P configuration, which is a 12S system, means that this board is gonna be able to generate a little bit more power, acceleration, and torque than a board that may have like a 10S system. So overall, I'm very impressed with this board. And I think that this is an excellent board for experienced riders. I also think it's a great board for even children because of the fact that you have the multiple speed modes, you get in the very large wheels from a safety perspective. The final thing that I wanna mention I think is just as important as specs, acceleration, top speed, and things like that is the customer service perspective. Here in Atlanta, we have someone who recently purchased a B-Sport Viper and he had an issue with his battery and B-Sport was incredibly responsive to him responding to his emails in very timely fashion and sending him out a brand new battery. Customer service in a lot of ways is a really underrated consideration when people are deciding what board they wanna buy. I personally think this is so important because you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on a board only for it to become a paperweight because companies don't honor the warranty. So I wanted to mention that because I think it's very important for a board in this price point that a company is trying to do the right thing with the consumers. If you have questions about this board, leave them down in the comment section. I will try to get to them. Don't forget to use my link in the discount code below to save some additional funds so that you can purchase this board close to around $450. As always, I will see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Peace.